everybody. Anne with Torch Paste. So glad that you can join us. Today we are going to work on a bamboo cutting board. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say, Anne, will it work on bamboo? And I'm here to say yes. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have sanded your bamboo down very smooth. So it, like it's baby fine. It's like a baby bottom. The, so on this, I use my fingernails like the fingernail test <laughs> to see if there's any ridges. And on one side, I smoothed it. But this side, I didn't. Can you hear the difference? Those are all the little um, ridges in the bamboo. So you want to make sure that you sand it down with 220 grit sandpaper. And see here, can you, you can he actually hear the difference as well as feel it? So here we go. Are you ready? We are going to use, I got this cute little stencil and we are going to use this. It's a nice little hummingbird and they're so lovely. As a matter of fact, we have a resident hummingbird that comes to see us in the morning. So cute. Do you guys have one? <laughs> All right, so what we're using today, just to give you an idea, this is our reusable adhesive silk screen stencil. And this is actually a silk screen. So it's not like your typical um, stencils where you can poke your finger through it. Um, this is a silk screen. And there are a variety of different silk screens available out there. This is a pre-made one, a pre-made design. However, um, if you want to make your own designs, then I will have a link for you and uh, where you can purchase a kit for that and you can create your own design. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and take a look in the link below. All right, so we're all set with that. So we're gonna take our torch paste, open it right up, and we're gonna grab a squeegee. Now I like to use squeegees, my friends. I'm familiar with them and they work absolutely perfectly. Um, so all you need is a very small amount. In fact, this is going to be too much. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply it. It's tinted orange and that is by customer request. I am so grateful to all my customers that reached out to me. Originally, it was clear and they said, could we add a little bit of color maybe because it was hard to see where, the, where they had put it on their design. So sure enough, we got to work in the lab and we figured it out. And so here we are. I'm gonna come over here and do this one. Now, these are reusable stencils, so all I'll do is I'll go ahead and wash these off in lukewarm water, and the torch paste comes right off of it. So it's really great that way. Now, see, guys, I am actually putting more of the torch paste right back into the jar because I didn't use hardly any, just like that. So it's a small jar, but it does a lot of projects. I have, I'm still working on my original jar and I have used it and I have burned my um, boxes, our starter kit boxes, um, with our logo on every starter kit and we are at 269. So, and I'm still going strong on my jar just to give you an idea of how many projects you can do. You can certainly do a lot. All right, so after you've done that and you've squeegeed off and you've put the excess back into the jar because you can save it and use it for um, a next project. So you want to make sure that your torch paste is stored in a cold location. The colder the better my friends because it is a paste consistency and just having it in a cool location will help retain the um, consistency. If it is in a hot location it is likely to melt. So we've allowed the torch paste to absorb into the board. So you want to make sure that you're waiting two or three minutes just to allow the paste to absorb into the board because that's what's going to do the burn, right? So now what we're going to do is that's happened. So it's it's actually drying a little bit to a matte finish, which is a-okay, my friends. 
So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to pull out the heat gun, the heat gun. Now, you guys can use a heat gun that is 1000 watts or more, okay? So a craft gun is not gonna work because it doesn't get hot enough, okay? So you definitely have to have a heat gun. Now the one that I've chosen works great. It's an 1800 watt because I'm kind of impatient. So I just crank up the heat and go to town. Uh, and the, another reason I got it is because it comes with four different attachments and I like this one. This one like focuses the heat so that I have more control. Now it's whatever you would like to do. So another tip is to make sure that you turn your heat gun on and let it warm up. So right now it's blowing out cold air until it gets reaches temperature. And again, I have mine almost all the way on high. And we are going to go ahead and start burning our project. So watch the magic. It's so fun. It's so fun. So let it warm up 30 seconds, a minute. And then what I'd like you to do is to warm up your surface. So go right ahead and we're going slowly. You don't have to go fast unless you want to, but there's really no need for that. So just go ahead and go slow. You can do whatever you want. Work out your muscles, do a circular, do back and forth, however you like it. So now that's all dried. You can tell the difference. I hope you guys can see the difference. And so now the magic is happening. So the entire wood surface now is warming up. And the only place that is burning is where the torch paste has gone through the silk screen and left the design. So again, I'm just gonna go slowly, but I am gonna keep it moving. Because if you hold it into one spot, then you'll burn the wood, and you may not want that for your project. Although some projects, I really like that look. So I'll go back over and I'll burn the wood where the torch paste isn't. But for this project, I'm gonna wanna keep it nice and crisp and clean, just like that. Can you see the details coming through? I just love it, just love it. The longer you leave the heat, the darker the burn. So I'm gonna go back over it, make sure I'm getting all that orange and that it's turning black, right? And you can smell it. it smells like a campfire. All right, so let's come on down here. Let's do the flower. And this is just gonna be a cute little cutting board for the kitchen. It's a small size, it's a, like an eight by six. It's a perfect little size. Um, I love this, this size for, for my house, but so there we go. And that is all taken care of. And then you're gonna go ahead and shut this off. Um, your heat gun's gonna be hot, so just place that in an area um, that it's not gonna hit on anything because it is hot. So your surface is gonna be warm also, my friends, and it is, it's very warm. But I wanna share with you uh, the next step. So the next step is to take a dry cloth or paper towel, and I have a paper towel handy. Has to be dry though, my friends, not wet, because wet will just smudge it, right? Because it's, um, it's burnt, so it'll just smudge it. So a dry one. So you're just gonna go back and forth. And what we're doing is we're removing any debris that is left on the surface. So there is a little bit, and that's to be expected. And when I'm doing that, I'm also checking to see if there's any orange showing. Because if you have an area that has a little bit of orange left over, then this is the perfect opportunity for you to bring out that heat gun again and hit it with the heat and burn it, okay? And I'm just gonna take a look here and right here at the hummingbird's um, tip of the beak is the um, orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and burn that a little bit more. It doesn't take long, just like that. 
Okay, so now, now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. And you can see there is that little bit of residue. So we wanna make sure you do that. Wipe it right off. With a dry rag, works fine. Now, what we're gonna do, is so we're gonna take another paper towel, or you can use a cloth, but this is what I have handy. And if you're using a cutting board, make sure that you seal your cutting board with a food grade oil. And I will be sharing videos um, on some appropriate oils to seal and protect your wood. It seals and protects the cutting board from bacteria. So that's number one. <laughs> number two, it seals and protects your design that you just put on here, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna use and what I normally use in my home is mineral oil. And I use the food grade mineral oil. And after I use my cutting boards, every time after I use them, I wash them by hand with a little soap and water it to air dry and then before I put it away I always apply mineral oil um, a barrier I want to make sure that I don't have areas where bacteria can grow we are going to make sure that it seals properly now I especially like to use mineral oil when on a new design on a new piece of wood when it's warm because I find that after you apply the mineral oil, it absorbs a lot quicker when the board is warm. So tip and trick, but it will absorb if it's not warm. So, um, so I've just applied two layers on it. And then um, after the live, I'll do another two just to be safe. All right, my friends, that is how you can wood burn on bamboo. And yes, it works. <laughs> It works just fine. If you ever have any questions um, or you want to share some tips and tricks, please join us on our Facebook page. I'd love to have you on over there. And we have other social media channels. We have TikTok. I'd like to see you there too. Tag us. Instagram. Feel free to tag us there as well. And I will be developing and having more videos on our YouTube channel. So whatever social media meets your needs, I hope that you'll follow us there. Torchpaste.com for the website so that you can grab your starter kit or your jar of torch paste. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.